So we're so, okay. we're now heading to the Urban Espresso Bar. Yeah, the east one. There's yeah. a west one. Yeah. But of course we are in the east. A uh, single will be fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think it's probably the, the drink that's the most common to, to us, <laughs> uh, all conductors. When it's the con context of jet lag and double rehearsal and a meeting, it starts with one, so I end up sometimes having six uh, a day. So I do associate Rotterdam with coffee very often. Uh, yeah, no sugar, no nothing. I'm a pure guy. <laughs> so is it time to go to the market? Yeah. yeah. With the patate. <laughs> so delicate. They're beautiful. Oh my God, yes, they're in good, uh, almost in good condition. Yes. Yes. But really, my favorite is is clearly this Mark Hall for me. I'm one of the big fans, huh? yeah. and you too. <laughs> it's nice that now it's open, though. Yeah. You know, it's. The very first time I read about the city, yeah. myself being a religious person, I just uh, was struck by the fact that this church is basically what remained as the only thing, as a symbol of reconstruction or symbol of hope after the destruction of the war. And I think it's a symbol of life. It's a symbol of Rotterdam as a tradition. We're almost a hundred years old now as the orchestra, so it's also a symbol of this. But it's a symbol especially of what makes Rotterdam special and unique, is to be able to remember the past, but always look into the future. And music is never far. <laughs> No, but it's fun. It's a beautiful sound. It's a beautiful sound. Let's give it a little bit. Oh, Moodle lead. But what is this, actually? Let me see. Is it only a book about them? Yeah, okay, so it's, ah, okay, it's a story. No, no, it's not music. An orchestra is always the reflection of its the inhabitants of its cities. And in Rotterdam, of course, it's a very unusual city in the world. It is as a characteristic of the Netherlands, of the welcoming aspect, of the certain laid back aspect too. But it also has within the Netherlands, of course, its own place as a city that's always wants to define itself differently because it did not have an easy life uh, in the 20th century, uh, having to be rebuilt and rebuilt again. And it was an example, and still is, of using the local resources to always think further and being more related, closely related to its inhabitants. So if I think about the orchestra now, after 10 years of coming here, I can see that all these qualities can be reflected in my musicians. And it's such a precious quality for me as a chief conductor to have an orchestra that wants to reach the sky. And I think in all those years, we reached pretty good heights and there's still much more to come. So thank you Rotterdam for welcoming us. Thank you for supporting us and because the music we're making is for you.